What's up YouTube? Texas Jedi. It's going to be uh, the second installment of the long range rifle build on a budget. We've got um, the Wheeler Fat Ranch, Torx, uh, inch, inch pounds wrench for the tightening the scope base down and tightening the rings down. Um, we're going to be installing today is the Night Force 20 MOA one piece scope base. Um, it does have the recoil lug in there built in to help with uh, the jarring of the scope when it's mounted. We also have the Night Force 30 millimeter ultralight ring set. Uh, it's titanium alloy. Um, 0.885 of an inch so they're the low rings. What we're praying on today is that I take these screws out that come from the factory to uh, fill those screw holes up. And when we put this on, we'll tighten the front, we'll put the front two screws in, and hopefully, once we snug them down just a little bit, we're not going to torque them down, we're going to snug them down. I don't have a gap back here. If there's a gap back here, then we're going to be bedding the uh, scope base with some JB Weld, and we'll use a little uh, chapstick for the releasing agent. So let's get to work and uh, we'll see what we got. First, we want to do is Get you a small flathead screwdriver, uh, about a sixteenth to uh, three thirty second uh, thick. Remove the stock the screws that come from the factory. We'll check those. Check for burrs. Make sure there's no burrs sticking up. If there is. We need to get those. Uh, we'll chamfer them holes to get them out. Get the burrs out of there so everything's perfect as it can be. Be very careful when you're unscrewing these screws that you don't slip and uh, scratch the surface. Uh, it's not going to hurt anything but if you're OCD like me it will bother the crap out of you. So we're just going to inspect these holes, make sure there's no burrs sticking up around these screw holes here. We'll uh, paper towel and we'll wipe off the oil that comes from the factory. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, see if we can make sure there's nothing on here. Wanna get it, want this to be as clean as possible for the mating surface. Um, don't want any dirt or debris or whatever you got messing with the mating surface. So we're gonna put this on and you're gonna push it up. This lug will hit the back side of this opening and catch. Uh, it comes with the screws. Put those out. Now you're going to want to put the short screws in the front, the long screws in the back, so that when you do torque them down they don't stick through the barrel opening and have this sliding across the top and scratching it. So we don't want that. So put these We'll put the two short screws in the front and we'll just snug them. Just gonna snug them up. Let me get y'all in here and show them and see what's going on. Just gonna put these in. You want to go backwards one turn until you feel it catch the threads and then go and then start tightening it down just for so you don't cross thread it by chance because uh, you cross thread it and it's gonna be a pain in the butt. You're gonna have to drill them holes out. Have them have to retap them. You're more likely to have to go to a gunsmith to have that done. So we're just gonna back these out loose. We're gonna push it, push tight on the, the scope base. Push it forward so that lug is as close as it can be. Just snug it up a little bit. Basically, what that lug does when you fire the weapon, it naturally wants to go backwards. For the recoil. And when it goes backwards, it's going to hit against this lug. There's no slop there, so this can't ride uh, across the top of this. Even though you have it tight with that much inertia, it's going to slide minute, but just enough where your scope can come out of alignment. So we'll check that. And we're, what we're looking for is daylight back here. And I believe we are lucky we don't have to bed this, the scope base. What we're looking for is when you snug these down, is this being raised in the back 
because if it's raised in the back and you don't bed it and fill that gap with something, when you go to tighten these down, now your scope base is going to have a flex in it. And when you go to put your rings on and it's flexing in the middle, well guess what? Your rings aren't perfectly lined. And when that happens, you're not getting a full mating surface on your scope, uh, your scope body. So we don't have to bed this. So we're going to go ahead and get these back ones started and snug her down to, it says 25 inch pounds. So we're going to set this torque wrench 25 inch pounds and we're going to torque them down. I'm going to go the one in the middle, the front first and you'll hear it click. And I'm going to go the one to the far back Checking my, checking my board, make sure I'm not going too deep. Make sure I got, got the screws in the right spot. Remember the long ones in the back and the short ones in the front. And we're gonna go until we hear a click. And we're gonna come up here to the front one. And we're gonna go until we hear it click. And we're gonna go to the next, the last one in the back. You hear that little click, you know you're in the, you're in the channel in the threads and you're not going to be cross threading. So we're going to go until we hear it click. And we're going to give it a second, let it rest. <laughs> we're looking pretty good. That's, I'm glad we didn't have to bed it. We'll let it rest and we're going to go in the opposite direction. We went here, 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 and here. So now we're going to go backwards. I'm going to go this one first, then this one, then this one, then this one. Hear it click. Hear it click. Hear it click. And hear it click. And that's on there. That's good to go. Uh, we don't have the scope, so we don't know how to do. We don't have know how to set the eye relief and everything um, on the scope. We're gonna go ahead and attach the rings, and we're gonna check it with this Wheeler. Um, scope lapping set and see what we come up with. Get this in here. Let's pick a spot for them. Go ahead and tie them down. You want to push those forward as well. So everything's pushed forward and it's uh, working with the inertia of the recoil. When it goes back, it's already you know it's already set, so it's as far forward as it'll go. And I like these. I like the way they made these. This screw cannot come off all the way. It has a stop point, so I like how that's done. So we'll go ahead and get this tightened up on here. Push it forward. And I'm just gonna finger tighten these on. Let's see where we're at. Let's get these top caps off. It's a winch. I'm going to put the 30 millimeter in on each side. And put our rings back on. Remember, always go backwards to hear that click. You know you're in the threads, so we don't have no cross threading. It's one extra step, but it will save you a lot of hassle on the long run. Go ahead and get that close. I'm going to move these. We're going to just snug them down. You want to go in a crisscross pattern. So I'm going here, here, and then here, and here. 
and then we're going to tighten the same screws on, on the same side. Um, before we get this all tightened up, I'm going to move these forward just a little bit. I'm going to get those points as close as possible without touching so we can see if we need to lap them. And it's looking like we're going to have to lap these rings. down here I'll show y'all what I'm talking about you look in there you see how one tip is just above the other one so that means that the back ring is tilted to where the, you're going to have some flex on the scope we don't want any flex on the scope so what we're going to do is we're going to take those out we're going to put um, the lapping bar in there which is there's the compound and there's the bar we're going to attach that little handle to it and we're going to run that bar back and forth in those rings snug it you know get it close to snug and then we're going to run that deal back and forth until we get the outcome we want which is both of those points pointing exactly at each other as close as possible if we look up over here at the top from the top side they're pointing directly at each other so we don't have any left and right out of alignment one thing we have is the up and down alignment is out of whack so and it's not by much, so it may not take a whole lot, but we'll uh, we'll get that in part three. Um, when the scope comes in, we'll go through lapping and installation of the scope. And then what we've all been waiting for, we're going to go shoot this puppy. Well, that's the installation of the 20MOA Night Force scope base for the Remington 700 and um, checking the rings to make sure if they need to be lapped or not and they're going to need a little lapping so we'll get that in the next video I uh, welcome all questions and comments thank you for watching remember to hit that like button share subscribe it's Texas Jedi I appreciate all of you have a good evening